Oops. My mistake, I went to zoom in and I accidentally cut the recording. <laughs> that was my mistake. So yeah, let's zoom in. So yeah, as you can see here, you can clearly see the eyes, so I guess welcome back to part two, I should say. Tried doing part one, but that was my bad. <laughs> I accidentally messed it up. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, this has wet instead of gold. The, the silver's still there, but the non removable god layer chip is, you know, done in the same color as the rest of it is. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Actually, this is kind of like a light pink color for the flames on the inside. Well, this one's like a really nice translucent wet. I do like the wet on this one. Although, this green does have something that brings to the party, you know. This turquoise teal type of green. Really nice. I like that green. It's blue. But on this one, you know, I like the gold. Although the flames look eh, somewhat good here. And this one, you can actually do see the eyes on the phoenix. Well, this, they are there, but uh, <laughs> you really got to turn and air on the energy layer to be like, oh! There they are. Type of teal. <laughs> so let me move the parts over for this one. Here's the QR code for this one. And here's the code for the original. The original one doesn't really want to show up on camera too good, but there we go. So yeah, same as that thing. Same as that number one. For the uh, forge disc here, uh, this one was a one star. This one is a three star. This one's a little bit shinier than this one for some odd reason. Even like the whole thing here, it's and the drivers are exactly the same. Just different colors. But actually, everything on this side looks a lot more shinier than on this side. Which is like completely odd. Because I mean, the sword looks shiny, the forest disc looks shiny, and the driver is slightly shiny. This one, the sword's dull. Like, it looks like it's been through a lot of battles and you had to clean it. Same with the forest disc. But the driver, a little bit dirty, but if we compare the metal on the drivers, they kind of still look almost similar in the shininess. But this side, I don't know, maybe they took a polishing cloth and polished it up a bit. And this one, they're like, eh, hey, I just came off of the machine, let's just slap it in the box. So, yeah. So let me pop these bays back together. There we go. And let's take a look at the launcher. Now it says Beyblade up there. It's this design. Which I, actually I kind of like the design. And if we notice down here. It kind of does actually have a little piece to put your hand. For holding it in there. And the way how it's curved. With this little notch here. And this little curve here. Actually, it sits pretty good in the hand, although I wish this was a little bit thinner on these two sides and maybe a little bit pointier. Because this little back piece down here, look, when you wet your finger on it, you can't even wet your finger on it. So this thing has to kind of be like, you know, when you take a sip of tea and you're like, pinkies out, that's proper etiquette. That's kind of how you have to hold this one, because, yeah. It's just going to be like all flopping around and stuff. So, unless you take your pinky and hold it really odd and weird and like tuck it back here, like that, then that allow clearance for the whip cord to go in there and you can hold it, bud. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't notice this, but also, let's see if I can get the can to focus. 
There you go. There's the QR code for this sword launcher. <coughs> now let's take a look at the actual whip cord. Now here's the finding. I believe these two pieces over here are a little bit different and the bottom's different. But where the whip cord meets the actual, you know, finger grip, I guess you could say it, on the whip cord, they copied this Takari told me one of it being two pieces, you know, this piece being separate and then this piece being separate and then, you know, you had to take the two pieces and put them together. So they have that design on there, but can this one turn like the Takari turn one, like the Takari one? You could turn this like a propeller for like a plane, you know, where you just keep on spinning and spinning and spinning and this piece would just keep on spinning. This one, no. But something that I did notice is, on this Hasbro one, this little notch that's just out there, it's kind of the same notch that's on this ripcord. See it right there and there? Which is odd because the only bay that I know that uses this, you know, whipcord tool, which is also built onto this left white dual flat string launcher, which is right there, is Legend Splison. I want to say, I think it's Legend Splison. Yeah, Legend Splison. Then comes Splison Requiem. But yeah, also if we notice on the <coughs> Whipcord, the teeth are really small and pushed together, so there's a lot of teeth over here, small and a lot of teeth, but if we look on the other side, it's completely smooth, and if we knew when we watched Beyblade Burst and Beyblade Burst Evolution, especially the ones that they have here in America has, bro, we see Xander, which is Eric Alexander, when he uses his sword launch technique, his whipcord has both tons of small little ones put together on one side, and then big ones, very few big ones that are spaced apart on the other side of the whipcord. So you could use a control launch, or you could use an all crazy, let's give it one final strike attack burst. So you could really use, like, oh, I'm using like Everyone else a weather bay launch and then go like powerful sword launch special technique with the other side and has well they just cheaped out I don't mind that you know this little sword doesn't spin and I kind of like that they cast a little tool on there which also has like a push stop when you push it in there but I really wish that they did Take the same idea that they are showing in the show here in America, the one that Hasbro is, the American Dove version, and have a dual, you know, I don't know what you would call these things. They're not studs, but you know what I'm talking about. These little pieces here on the whipcord, and have, like this one, you know, where there is small, lots of small ones pushed together, but also it would be nice if they could completely copy it and have few big ones spaced apart on the other side. That would have been freaking amazing. So let's put it into the white side. And we are going to do a little test here to see what launcher from Hasbro <coughs> excuse me is actually the best launcher for this bay. That means we're going to be using standard launcher. The super grip launcher, which is what I love. And then we're going to be using string launcher and or how they came out. Or at least how I got them. And then this launcher right here, which is launcher 2, which they should give out instead. This stupid launcher. And then do a flat launcher. And then firing the sword launcher. So, starting off with the stupid launcher. This way it kind of gives us a power test. To test out, oh, do you actually need to buy the sword launcher to get, you know, this launcher? 
Is it better for Excalius? Or are you just buying a new launcher and a weak card of the bay? So, that's how, you know, this stupid one works. And I am going to stop it just a little bit for time wise. Super Grip Launcher. As you can tell, it's a little bit more aggressive going to the outer edge, but it also dies out a bit faster with the Super Grip Launcher. That's up the Master Key Launcher, which came with the Go version of Excalius, the first one. Um. This one's the worst one so far. So far, the uh, Master Key Kit one. <laughs> that is just god awful on this bay. I'm not even kidding, that one's just horrible. That's up, the one that they should have gave as a launcher. And the bay doesn't want to go in there. Yay. Okay, let's. Um, this one is good. It's just like the Super Grip launcher. But it actually has less power than the Super Grip Launcher. Which is um, odd. And let me just uh, put this to the white section here. The Dual Fret Launcher. Um, let's see. Dual Fret Launcher? It's... I want to say about the same as the first flea. This maybe. No, actually less than the first flea. It's about the same as this one, and maybe this one. 